40 mile per hour winds today, so I am not going to ride my bike. I am not Lucas Brunel. I am not a big fan of riding in the wind. So I've made a purchase from Competitive Cyclist. I have not opened it yet. It's right here, and I'm gonna show you what I got because this is gonna be important for you to know. By the way, it's freezing today, so that's why I have a jacket on, just so you know. So what I what did I get? Let me tell you the, let's first of all open this thing and see what it is. And I'll explain why I got them, but if, you, if I put it in the title, you'll actually know. Okay. I got some new Shimano Ultegra pedals. These are the PDR 8000s. 265 grams, why are they so heavy? First of all, they're Ultegra, but most importantly, these are the plus four millimeter axles. I'll unbox them in a second and, and we're gonna put these on and do a test run. I'll give you my first initial impressions, but let me show you uh, why I did this. Because this is my cycling shoe and I used to run speed play pedals. The short story is I switched to Shimano. Part of the reason why was I developed a, a Morton's Neuroma in my foot, that sucks. And I was looking for a little bit of a wider base and I was experimenting with going out, uh, moving my foot out to, for an increased Q factor. And I found it was beneficial. And then Speed Play was restructuring its business. And I wasn't sure if Speed Play was going to be in business. No one was talking at the time. I just figured I'm going to buy a cheap pair of Shimano pedals and some cleats, try them out. And it turned out I kind of, my gut instinct was, wow, where have these been all my life? Now, Speed player, flipping awesome pedals. I really like them. However, I have the Zeros and I found that it was way too much float for me. So I narrowed the float down to literally the same amount of float that would be on these. So there wasn't much difference. But getting back to why I purchased these uh, plus four millimeter uh, pendle, uh, pedal spindles is because I like my feet out a little bit. I'm, I'm not the most narrow guy in the world. I'm not an Alberto Contador or a Chris Froome or something where their, their hips are real narrow. And I found that I tried to get the pedals, and this I was doing with the speed play as well, the pedals to go that way, which made my foot go out. And the maximum you could do right here from side to side is four millimeters. So there's actually... If I move the, cl the cleat inward, my foot is out four millimeters to a normal standard uh, Shimano pedal. So I wanted a little more to experiment, and the reason I got these was because if I move the shoe out by four millimeters, but I purchase a pedal spindle that's an extra four millimeters, if it turns out I don't like it way out that much, then I could always move the, the cleat it outward on the shoe and it'll bring it back to where it is already. There's something on their website that shows that right in the middle, you can actually get it exactly the same as here on a normal pedal. The problem with Speed Play was that I believe they had an extra six millimeter, which two millimeters, I mean, who cares, right? But the problem is, is that you had to really commit. And they don't call it speed play anymore. I think they call it Wahoo pedals or whatever. I'm also a chiropractor, so I have a, a good understanding of biomechanics of the human body. And there's a number of reasons why you would get an, a longer pedal spindle. Number one, it's because you're fat. And I don't mean P-H-A-T. I mean, you're just a big boy. And your hips are wider. You know, if your hips are wider, it makes sense that you buy a bigger pair of jeans. There isn't a one size fit, fits all. Well, why do we believe that's the same with, you know, pedals? So if you are a bigger dude, you need probably, more likely, a wider pedal stance. If you have hip impingement, and this is very common for people of my age, when you start getting to be 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, you know, your hips don't work the way that they used to when you're 20. And if you're noticing that you're getting hip impingement 
and your knees come out like this when you're pedaling, then you probably would benefit from a wider uh, pedal stance. You can obviously go to a professional bike fitter. Uh, in my particular area, I'm not really happy with the bike fitting. I, I found that most of the information that I've learned about bike fitting is from has been online with Steve Hogg. He's got a website and uh, actually I paid him uh, for numerous years money to ask questions on his website and I'll tell you what, I got more value out of that than any type of uh, bike fit that I've ever gotten. It's good if you're if you're not if if you're not savvy or you don't really understand how to work on bikes to get a professional person to look at you, someone who does bike fitting, but I just found that the bike fittings that I've gotten put me into a position and I always kind of reverted back to uh the position that I intuitively liked from stuff that I learned from Steve Hogg. So, thank you for that, Steve Hogg. So let's open this baby up and see what we got here. Now, isn't it just totally exciting when you get something new for your bike? I mean, holy cow, it's like every time I purchase something from a competitive cyclist, I feel like it's like it's Christmas, you know? I love this stuff. All right. Why is one red and one blue? Oh, just so that they can know which is which which side is which side it, it it's pretty obvious so right pedal left pedal very cool you got the warnings okay and you know what i like about buying new pedals they give you a new set of cleats and that was another thing that i kind of learned about using speed plays is the speed play cleats would wear out like nobody's business and I was extremely careful with them. I hardly ever walked with my uh, cleats and they still, they wear out, you know, the springs break and things. The Shimano cleats, when you have to buy new Shimano cleats, they're a lot cheaper. So that's one factor. I'm going to take, uh, take the pedals off my bike and put these on. I'll show you what I had. So when you have to loosen the pedals, the way I learned it when I was a kid was to loosen, you go backwards. The spindles on pedals do the opposite from side to side, so it's not lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Uh, when you want to loosen, you go backwards. When you want to tighten, you go forwards. The way to remember it is if you're in a bike race and you're going backwards, you're losing. Losing, looser, loser. <laughs> That's how I remember it. So call me nuts. And like I said, when I first bought these, I just bought these in particular because I wasn't sure if I was gonna even like Shimano. To me, it was a temporary solution so that I was planning on going back to the speed plays, but these actually uh, worked quite well. These were the cheapest ones that I could find. And when you're on the drivetrain side, the worst thing that you could ever do is try to wrench this and get your your knuckles caught in the big uh, chain ring. So the best thing and safest thing to do would be to put the chain on the chain ring. This way, if you accidentally knuckle the uh, big chain ring, you're just gonna knuckle it against the, the chain rather than the teeth. So these are the Ultegras and these are the regular ones. And I'm gonna show you what the difference is in terms of the pedal, uh, pedal spindle length. And right here, you can see the difference between the length. So this one is longer. As far as weight is concerned between this one here and the Ultegra, boy, this Ultegra is a lot lighter. Just, I'm not gonna weigh them because I don't really give a crap. But the thing is, is that uh, the Ultegra is lighter. The reason I don't go with the Dura Ace is because I feel that you're just spending money on something that's lighter rather than performance enhancement. So the reason I purchased these was for the performance enhancement of the four millimeter 
extend uh, spindle. So my first overall impressions with this is they're wide because right now I have it at the maximum amount. I've got the four millimeter pedal spindles on. The cleats are shoved all the way to the inside of the shoe. So the shoe is essentially out four millimeters. So the this is the maximum you can get with this pedal system, which is basically eight millimeters. And I think what I'll do, my first initial impressions, is I'll go for some rides and just see how it feels and then I'll move the cleats more to the center of the shoe and see if that makes any difference but overall the pedals feel really good so I like them so I'm going to do this workout and then I am going to do some push-ups and some pull-ups and some military presses planks, bird dog, side planks and that'll be the workout for today to me it's just too windy outside I just checked the weather again and 40 mile per hour winds with gusts up to 55 not my cup of tea so if you have used these pedal extenders have you noticed a difference in stability have you noticed a difference in your hips have you noticed the difference in the ability to get in the drops like this? Have you noticed anything? Let me know in the comment section down below.